See, when you have been knocked below the ground, and I mean below, like the cement's right here, and you have been knocked below that, you appreciate just to stand on the cement. Just to sit on the cement. Just to get your hand on the cement so you can pull yourself out up from under the ground. And if I didn't go through a lot of bad situations, I wouldn't be able to appreciate the ground. Welcome back to our channel, The Soren Super Family, and happy Friday. Welcome back to another Friday mommy moment. And no, you do not have to be a mommy to enjoy this moment. All you need is a moment. Every time I'm out here, do y'all hear the airplane? Like, this is not a setup. Like, this is for real. Oh, we don't let him pass. Let me just let him pass. Okay, he passed. You guys already know. You might hear some cars. You might hear some planes, the birds, the wind, the trees. It is nature out here. It is real life. I think a car going by right now. Mm-hmm, yeah it is. But y'all know, the first thing that we do on Fridays is we do Friday shout-outs. And I am so excited because I want to give a shout-out to you. You guys, there are some new people who have joined the family. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. There's people who are still here. Thank you so much. I know that we all are all still going through this virus, through this quarantine. And I'm like, God, we being good. Like, we just... You know, we we doing what we supposed to do. Other people not, but I'm ready to come up out of this. And then they talking about the hornet bees thingies. Oh, strah. So, shout out to you. Keep on doing what you're doing. Let's make it through this. Keep using precautions. Wear your mask. If you have them, wash your hands. Do everything that we need to do so this virus can stop spreading and we can hold on to our loved ones. So, shout out to you let's jump into this week's topic i'm ready for it okay that was a little too excited all right let's go be sure to check out Seaward creations at etsyshop.com where you can get customized moment mugs and moment mugs designed by the Soren Seward family. We look forward to sending you your very own moment mug. And remember, all you need is a moment. Okay, cool. So today I'm just gonna kinda like just talk and kinda lead you through what happened, okay? The other day we was out and we was all in the yard and my mom happened to come outside and you guys know my mom has, um kidney failure and she is not a candidate for a transplant or a dialysis um so uh, me and my husband we take care of my mom she happened to come outside and join us and we decided that we was going to start planting some vegetables my mom that i know she loves vegetables um she don't love them anymore because I can't get her to eat right for nothing. She always was into gardening and planting. Most people who know me know that about my mother. And I had a flashback and it was a good one. A lot of times when I talk about my past and my relationship with my mom and my dad and my family, it's not usually the best. Um, it's good moments there, but it's not too many times that I dip back there. But I remember when I had choked and I had stopped eating and I went through a lot of um, medical issues because I had stopped eating because I was afraid that I was gonna choke again and my mom and them didn't know, like I was hiding it wearing big clothes because I was a tomboy. And when she did notice one day when I was getting dressed, she came in my room, uh, she rushed me to the hospital. But my mom had tried to do all these things to get me back eating again. And I do remember that being a period of time where I remember my mom trying things to make sure that I was eating because she didn't want me to have to stay in the hospital and they feed me through it too. I remember that very clearly, but it came back and it wasn't a, I didn't feel sadness. I didn't feel 
um, hurt. I didn't feel like my mom was just the worst or that I didn't have anybody. I felt good and I remember that my mom used to make this corn dish and she used to make it just for me and she would put corn in the pan and um, she would put uh, tomato, salt, pepper. Uh, my mom can't cook you guys. She's not the greatest cook but this meal was good and she would put two pieces of bacon in it so get bacon juice in it. I remember that and she would give it to me and I would eat that and I know you're probably like okay she gave me corn but sometimes um, when you have been through so much and you're going through so much and my mom actually told me this uh, a few months ago she said sometimes I feel like you only can remember the bad stuff and I told her I was like well when the bad is so bad you really don't remember the good and I was excited that I remembered that moment with her while she's still here and she got to see and we got to talk about it and shared it with my husband and it was a great moment sometimes God can take a bad situation and produce good fruit from this situation. A lot of bad fruit was in my past, but from that I was able to appreciate this good moment that I just shared with my mom and remembering what she did for me and how amazing that was. And it was great because she's alive and she could see the joy that I, and the joy that it brought me and I could say thank you for doing that. You guys, there's a lot of bad situations in our lives. There's a lot of things that we went through that we wish we could undo. But I truly believe that if I didn't go through a lot of the things that I went through, that I wouldn't be able to appreciate the fruit that I now have. And sometimes you have to go through something in order to appreciate what good really looks like how great it is like when I think about my past I'm like there's no way there's no way I can't just fall on my face and thank God for everything that he's done when I think about the things that I went through I'm like wow you know I think m me finding my relationship with God so late in life if I had a relationship with God then it would have been tested like I would have been mad at him I'd have been like come on come save me come do this like his timing is just so amazing. And I'm not saying, oh, thank you for all the greatness. Thank you for all the, the stuff that I went through. That, oh, I really enjoyed crying. I really enjoyed that pain. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that sometimes you have to go through some things to realize how good you actually have it. Or sometimes you have to go through the mud just to appreciate walking on sand. See, when you have been not below the ground and I mean below like the cements right here and you have been knocked below that you appreciate just to stand on the cement just to sit on the cement just to get your hand on the cement so you can pull yourself out up from under the ground and if I didn't go through a lot of bad situations I wouldn't be able to appreciate the ground and God has done so much with his grace and his mercy so I wanted to come and I want to encourage you that I pray that you guys get that good moment that fruit come from those bad situations from that hurt that you went through back then or right now that you're going through I encourage you to press on and to hang on because God hears you and he's there even though it feels like he's not he's there so, with all that being said, you guys, thank you so much for joining me on this Friday. And I look forward to seeing you guys again next Friday. Stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people just like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soar Seaman Family Channel, you are needed. You guys, that bug just flew right past and I act, I did good. Y'all act like I didn't even see it. I did good with that bug. Yeah, I did. All right, peace out.